Hello. I'm gonna go live now since uh, we're all here. <laughs> all right, we are starting with Sarge tonight. Hi, Debbie. Yes, I'm excited too. So excited. All right. Let's start rendering the darks. That's usually what I do. Wolfie Corn, hello, how are you? Thanks for joining. Hopefully it's not too late. Add some shadows underneath the eyelids first. using a black colored pencil, Prismacolor. Just blocking in the darks. Yay, Stephanie. Thanks for joining. You're doing good, Wolfie. Awesome. I am doing well. I'm live. I'm back doing live. Lock in the darks underneath this uh, bottom iris. Usually it's very dark down there. And then let's fill in some shading inside the eyes. Don't go too dark though. He had the darkest eyes. I could only see his pupils when the sunlight shone just right into his eyes. Really? Wow, I mean, I could tell uh, he, he does have very dark eyes in the photo. I might lighten it up a little bit just to give his eyes uh, some more dimension, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But thanks for letting me know, Debbie. That's good to know. What else can you tell us about Sarge? He had shark eyes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> but he has the sweetest face. very slowly around the eyes here. I'm just gonna focus on the dark shadows first. Let's uh, color in the outside of this lower eyelid. Thank you guys for joining. Please don't forget to like my uh, my video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. 
He was so devoted to me. It was like he could read my mind. He was had the softest heart and wouldn't hurt a soul. Cats, chickens, frogs. He loved them all. Aw, that's so nice. Aw, I love that. He looks so happy in this photo. I love it. I'm glad we picked this photo, Debbie. Pretty good for the darks in the eyes. Let's uh, switch on over to the nose. I want to capture all the darks first. You are too awesome. Yeah, the other photo was great. It's just the smile, Sarge's smile, just, it just got to me and there's no other choice. You gotta capture this boxer smile. So now we gotta color in the inside of the nostril. It's uh, all shadows in there. Can always map out the darks first. Gives you a good indication of uh, values. Just blocking these in. Make sure I'm getting the right shapes in there. following my guidelines. He would get to see his grandma and grandpa, his breeders once every year or two, and he always remembered them. Aw, that's awesome. That's so nice. Yeah, I'm amazed what dogs remember. Like my Bella, she remembers uh, so many different people. And she knows when she's meeting a stranger too. Like she remembers their scent or something. So smart. Okay, I'm gonna put in some shadows in the middle of the nose. This middle line is usually very dark. They are very smart dogs. Adding some of these textures in the nose, these patterns. Here, I'm gonna zoom in so you could see this better. Oh, I don't have all my lights on. Silly me. Sorry about that, got more lights in here. You still miss him so much? Aw, oh, it will be a year in 20, aw, oh, in June. Aw, oh, I'm so sorry, ugh. It's always too soon. Always too soon when they go. You just get an, do you have um, another boxer or are you gonna get another boxer? That usually helps. They definitely 
Don't live long enough. Nope. How old was he when he passed? You have Sarge's uh, great nephew. Oh, nice. His name is Fergus. Nice. Aw, oh, that's awesome. Almost 11. Ugh, oh, yeah. That's way too soon. Way, way too soon. Fergus is a hot mess. <laughs> in what way? I probably know, but in what way? Most boxers are. They're so silly. slowly capture these darks oh he's a boxer puppy that's why yes yes that is why some values he's always going at 100 he is turning into a good dog oh good <laughs> oh that's a boxer puppy for you but they stay puppies for a while Can't believe my uh, Bella's gonna be three this June. He has big paws to fill for sure. Aw. Is he also a white boxer? Oh, Bella we had since she was uh, 10 weeks old, I believe. Yeah. We got her from a breeder, a boxer breeder in Pennsylvania. Flashy fawn, nice. Oh, my first boxer was a fawn. I miss her too. 10 weeks, babe? Yep, 10 weeks. She was the runt of the litter. You gotta send me photos of your Fergus, your flashy fawn, Fergus. Aw, oh, thank you. Yep, she is a spoiled little brat, but I love her. <laughs> Picked Sergeant brought home at 11 weeks. I should say he picked me. Ah, that's right. They do. They 
they really do. My wife actually picked Bella from a, from a website. I always blame my wife whenever Bella's bad. <laughs> it's like, you picked her. <laughs> Not spoiled well loved. That's true. Yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> uh. Megan, what's up, girl? How are you? It's been a while. I know, I know. I'm going to go live. I'm going to go live on Twitch soon. Friday, Friday. How you doing, Megan? Yeah, Sarge, before I met my husband, he always said that Sarge tolerated him, but he loved me. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> You're doing great, Megan. Awesome. I am doing well. back doing some lives so i'm doing well and drawing boxes what have you been up to megan right. gotta slowly build up these darks Actually, lots of highlights, too, in the darks. Markings around the nose. It amazes me how you get the tiny nose bumps. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it amazes me too. <laughs> Uh, but I guess I've been drawing for so long that I don't even think about it. It's like my eyes are like directly connected to my hands and whatever I see, like just my hands just translate it automatically. It's kind of weird. If that makes sense. I was doing my website and I'm counting like all the dogs that I have drawn and it's it's kind of crazy how many dogs like and I'm still collecting all the dogs that I've drawn it's like trying to capture every single one of them it's a uh, it's mind-boggling time has flown by Yes, they are. I could draw dogs forever. <laughs> uh, I'm 
I mean, they're just, they're just so many kinds. That's the thing, like, so many breeds, so many mixes. There, there's not one that looks the same. Even boxers, as a boxer breed, they all, you know, have their different characteristics. It's kind of crazy. My goal is to draw every single breed eventually. <laughs> if I can. They keep making new breeds, so I don't know if that's possible. Right? I think so. I think that would be an amazing feat if I could actually draw every single breed. I should take a tally of all the breeds that I've, I've drawn. I'm curious now. Okay. Thanks, babe. used to draw horses when I was a kid. I haven't picked drawn. Oh, you should start back up again, Debbie. It's so much fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's my wifey, Stephanie. Yeah, you should uh, try drawing again, Debbie. I'm a... Uh, I'm all about starting up your drawing hobbies. I like force people to start drawing again. <laughs> I have two small children about to... <laughs> That's true. Well, maybe when they're all napping. <laughs> Not enough hours in the day. Uh, this is true. Very, very true. It's just, you know, um, like a quick sketch, 30 minutes. There you go. Yes, be inspired. It's so much fun. And horses are amazing to draw. They're just so beautiful and majestic. Yeah, that's another subject matter that I, I would love to draw more of. I think I've drawn maybe four horses at this point. I definitely want to draw more. some of these other bumps, patterns. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch on over to the other eye. Just wanna block in the... Sorry, just beautiful eyes. So I'm staring at two, two eyes instead of one. Oh, nice. Yeah, your horse Strawberry. Aw, that's a cute name. Yeah, I'd love to um, draw another horse. Definitely. I would love that. Mm 
definitely love that. subtle highlights in the eyes. I just want to make sure I get it, get it right. some blues too in the eyes a reflection of the sky so we're gonna have to color that in oh I need to sharpen my pencil Gotta sharpen your pencil when you're doing eyes. How many hours do I spend drawing? I assume this is a full-time job. I'm just imagining how tired it is. Yeah, it is my full-time job. Um, when I do draw, I probably draw between four to five hours um, a day. Lately, I've been uh, taking a lot more breaks and yes, it, it's gruesome on my hands and my eyes. Uh, so yeah, I've been taking more breaks and not drawing every day. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm going to the chiropractor more. <laughs> I'm starting to feel it, you know? So yeah, I'm uh, making sure I'm taking care of my, uh, my health. Yes, I love mine too. I have two chiropractors actually. One, one that um, adjusts a, a slightly different, differently than the other, but I love them both. It's so important. Like I get headaches when I don't go. Yes. Yeah, cause uh, so bad on your drawing is so bad with posture too it's like you're always looking down and your neck is strained so Cairo is a lifesaver oh nice Yes, Sarge. That's right. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Let's see. I'm going to start adding more shadows. Let's do some shadows in the ear. reference photo in order here. Let's add some darks. I 
See my car every four weeks for the past 14 years. You can function without him. Nice. Yeah, right? Ugh. It's so good. I just started going car in the last two years and I never knew that this was a thing till my wife. I'm like, what's that? What? They crack your neck? What? So it was uh, an education. Yeah, they really are. Let's add some shadows here and markings. What? He adjusted Sarge? Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. I wonder if my chiropractor can do that for my dog. <laughs> mm. My dog does have insurance, so it doesn't hurt to ask. Oh no, throw him into a tree. Oh, oh my gosh. Yikes. Oh my gosh, it's scary. I would have had a heart attack. So he got adjusted and he was okay? Wow, that is scary. I was bawling in his, oh yeah. Oh, nice, ugh. Yeah, that is very scary. Yeah, ugh. Boxers like to roughhouse and run around like crazy. Were the photos? Yes, actually, yes. Thank you. Thank you for sending them.
under these white whiskers. Start uh, adding these dark shadows underneath the mouth. Patches here. Yes, um, I think I was around three years old uh, when I started drawing. And I guess I just never stopped. <laughs> I used to do... Um, a lot of coloring books too. I remember coloring a lot. Drawing is definitely a passion. daughter is eight colors all the time oh nice she started mixing crane colors for shading when she was about five or six i was floored yeah that's awesome yeah see that's how it starts you know definitely encourage that as much as you can because uh this day and age you could you can make a lot, some good money with art you could uh make a living Yeah, if she's already mixing colors and 
it's looking good. Give her, give her more coloring books. <laughs> Buy her more coloring books. Like, I never thought that I could make money or make a living with my art. Like, I was a graphic designer for 17 years before I realized, I'm like, all right, I think I'm going to try this, do this full time. And I wish I knew early on that I, I, I could make money with art. I would have stayed with it instead of gone corporate, you know. Kameo, hello, how are you? You're back. You definitely try to encourage her. Nice, nice, yes, display everything. Yes, foster that creativity. It goes a long way. the whole thing just want to zoom out just make sure I capture everything hey Kamel how much money do I make each drawing oh it depends depends on the size Are you up to Kamei? Are you drawing? How did I get started doing this as a business? Oh, um, so I was working as a graphic designer and I was missing my boxer that passed and I drew something. Um, of her, a couple of drawings actually, and I posted it on my Instagram, and I I was surprised that people started like noticing my drawings, and some of them started asking me, "Oh, can you draw my dog or draw my boxer?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, okay." And eventually, I started charging more and more people, and I'm like, "Oh, I might be able to make this into a business." And so when I started getting more and more commissions and I was also not liking my job anymore because it was slowly killing me because uh, there's a lot of hours and I wasn't getting enough sleep, I decided, all right, I think it's time to go. So I saved up enough money, like an emergency fund to quit in case, you know, I need I couldn't make enough as a living as an artist that I had a backup plan financially and uh, I just went from there and I never looked back so yeah I think it was because I drew my my boxer because I was missing her so much that I realized you know I could do this I could make a, a business out of this and I did it's been four years Kameo you're drawing awesome good for you I'm glad to hear that. Very, very glad to hear that. What have you been drawing, Kameo? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's been an interesting ride for sure. And I'm so happy I, uh, I quit corporate America and started my own business because it just feels more fulfilling and I get to do what I want <laughs> I get to choose my projects let's 
let's see, where else? Where else does Sarge have some darks? I think Sarge has a tiny, tiny bit under here. Yes, I love Dave Ramsey. I love him. Yes, he's the man. We follow all of his uh, financial advice as, as far as like emergency funds, um, buying a car, buying used cars, go having no debt, like all of the good things, all that good stuff. I love him. Kamei, you're working on a dragon? Cool. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Let's see. Now I think it's time to add some pinks. Sarge has a lot of pinks. Pinks, eyes. Let's add a very light shade. Oh, I think I need tracing paper so I don't smudge. I love the pinks on boxers. You followed Dave's plan, got a debt free. Nice. Then I married a farmer. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, so, what does that mean when you married a farmer? <laughs> You guys have a farm that's so cool. That got it. Yep. <laughs> I guess you can't get out of that. Most farmers live on a rotating cycle of debt and financing. We have been married almost 10 years. He's coming around to my way of thinking. Nice. There you go. Yeah, not many people uh, understand or know that you can live debt free. Like, there is a way to, to do that. Like, you really don't need credit. Like, <laughs> you know, there's a way to pay for everything cash, like, no loans. You just have to save and uh, be smart about investments.
Yeah, exactly. That's what I want. Freedom from debt, always. Oh, congrats. It's awesome you paid off your house. Oh, that's amazing. That is so cool. One day, one day. Real estate is very cheap out here. Where is out here again? I'm sorry, I forget. Where are you guys? Western Kansas, got it. Ah, okay. Cool. Oh. What kind of farming does your husband do? Do I watch any YouTubers other than art? Oh yes, Kameo, I do. I found this uh, awesome YouTuber, Ali Abdal, I think his name is. Ali, is that his name? He's a productivity and like learning guru. I love him. I'm learning so much from him as far as productivity and entrepreneurship. The nearest Walmart is an hour away in a direction that is easy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow, that's pretty far. Pinks. You primarily raise what is it? Tri tritis Triticel? Triticel seed to sell to other farmers to grow for feeding cattle. Some corn, milo, soybeans, as well as run a cow calf herd. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. That's awesome. Yeah, I bet. No time to be bored. That is definitely a full time job. Guys, please like my video if you're learning something. Helps with YouTube algorithm when people engage.
sure you're adding very light layers of color the first time around. Just blocking in the different hues. Sarge's pink would turn red after he got run done running around. Really? Interesting. Huh. Like red red? That's pretty cool. I don't I don't think I've ever seen that before. should check uh, Bella's pink patches after she's been running around. I'm curious. It was wild once he cooled down, he would go back to pink, but when he got... Wow, it turned red. Interesting. I have never noticed that before. I learned something new about boxers. Wow. Kameo, you just realized how much my art has improved since I'm starting. Oh, that's awesome, Kameo. Very cool. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm happy that you are practicing and drawing your dragons and uh, seeing improvement. That gets you uh, motivated to keep going, right? No, I didn't have a boxer. I actually never uh, seen a boxer till um, I met my last boxer, I think. It was from my ex-girlfriend. She, she had a boxer and I was like, what's a boxer? <laughs> and when I met her boxer, I fell in love with a breed. So yeah. You helped me learn how to probably shade and draw fur. Awesome. Yes, Kameo, that's amazing. Yeah, see, I keep telling people you could learn how to draw. Like, people think that you have to be born with this talent of drawing, but I don't believe that. I think anybody could learn and get better at drawing. So, that's pretty awesome, Kameo. I'm glad to he read that and hear that. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Once you go box, so you can't go back. <laughs> Their personality, I think it, that's what drew me to them. Their squishy faces. You just looked the back at your art from three years ago and you almost died laughing. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> See, look at that. I love reading that. And you could see a huge difference each year. Just gonna add some 
pinks in the tongue. I've had several through my life. I used to foster and train boxer. Oh, you did boxer rescue. Sergeant, only my second puppy to raise. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah. I think I will forever have boxers. I want a second boxer, but my wife, he says she, she, she wants to pick the second dog, so probably won't get a boxer. My dream is to have two boxers. One day, one day. So we'll probably have three dogs. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I've had three leg legged rescue rejects and world champion bloodlines in my house. They are all amazing. Nice. That's so cool. I think Stephanie wants a mutt. Um a rescue. Maybe like um like a, a lab mix or something. But definitely a rescue mutt. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we get. Yeah, I, uh, I want a mutt too. Change it up, you know? Oh, the white fur. Yeah, the white hair. Yes. It's definitely a trick to it. But I'm going to leave the white, the white fur for last. I want to capture all of these other tones. The white fur is probably going to be the most um, difficult part. Do you draw the actual white spots or the space around that is other colors? Uh, I'm probably going to... Hmm, that's a good question. Um, yeah, usually the white fur, I, I draw around it. I add textures and, and shading around the white fur because I want to keep the white of the paper for the highlights. You have an old photo of your first wife about doing sunset and she's covered in pink and gold. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'd love to see that. 
I love to see that photo. Oh, okay, Camille. Thanks for joining. So happy you're getting, seeing improvement and getting better. Actually, before I start doing that, I want to add some uh, shading on the side of the ears. Very subtle, subtle shadows. Yes, I did. I uh, think I lived in New Jersey since I was six. And uh, went to school, left New Jersey, went to Rhode Island for college, for art school, and then came back after I graduated and then I've been, yeah, I've been in, in New Jersey ever since. How about you, where did you grow up? shading this ear
mostly Kansas. I was born in South Carolina, but we moved to Kansas when I was four or five. I've lived in PA, Ohio. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Lots of places. But Kansas is home. Yeah, New Jersey is home for me too. But I do want to travel and see other parts of the states. My wife and I are saving up for a tiny house. We want to build a, a mobile tiny house that, so we could travel all over and see beautiful United States before we settle to a warm, warm climate state. You were in New Jersey overnight, overnight back in 2005 on my way to Jeff Airport. Nice. <laughs> You're just passing through. <laughs> Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is me. Really? I have yet to go. That's definitely a place I want to visit. I love the beach. Wherever we do end up, I want to be close to a beach, even if it's just, you know, an hour away. I want to be able to see the ocean. Yes, definitely. And South Carolina isn't too far away from us. Maybe like five hour drive. It's definitely a bucket list item. Oh, really? Favorite places? Wow. Okay. That is good to know. Definitely check that out. How big is your farm? How many acres? Not I meet my wife. Oh, <laughs> um, online uh, match.com, <laughs> if you could believe it. Yep, she found me online. And now I think we've been together seven years, married almost three years. Time is flying, I can't believe it. Wow, 1200 acres, 
Wow, what we own in, oh my Lord, that's a lot of acres, wow. Oh my Lord, that's a lot of land. You weren't kidding when you said land it. Your boxers must be so happy running around all that land. They love to run. A lot of it is the original farm that his great grandma. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. It's a family business. That's awesome. wanted to own some land but I just don't know where What would I want to? Yes, definitely. I would love a garden. Oh my gosh, definitely a horse. Chickens, sure, yes. <laughs> Fresh eggs in the morning, sure. Yeah, I would love to do all those things. I don't know what what's a good good starting um, acreage. Two acres is that enough? for horses, a garden, and uh, for a horse, a garden, and chickens. Who is taking care of these animals? <laughs> we, I would, I would take care of the animals. I don't, I don't mind taking care of animals and feeding the chickens. <laughs> uh. White boxer is Debbie. Debbie owns Sarge, the, the boxer I'm drawing now. We're having very nice chat. They own 12 hundred acres in Kansas. Amazing. Don't you want a horse, babe? And chickens? Get a guess. Uh, get um, fresh veggies from our garden.
Your yard is about three acres and is big enough for chickens. Probably not big enough to have a horse unless you fed it hay all year. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. So, five acres? <laughs> I do if someone else is doing the work. Ah. Yeah, how many how many workers do you have in your 1200 acre farm? That's I'm sure that's a lot to manage. 5 acres would be good if you have plentiful grass. Oh, okay. I'm learning. So we got to save up for at least 5 acres with with grass, babe. This is what Debbie is telling us. Then I can have a Great Dane. <laughs> I could have a boxer, two boxers, and then your mutt. <laughs> this is the way, this is the way we need to plan. It's all good. We definitely want land, Debbie. So this is all very educational. It's, it's good to know. I will be calling you up for more advice <laughs> on how to properly manage land <laughs> and horses and chickens. Just remember what would Dave do? That's right. <laughs> oh, definitely. Always go to Dave Ramsey. Yes, I do have your email. Yes, that is right. Once we're ready to have land and a farm, I will be contacting you. Where's <laughs> my black pencil? Where did I put my black pencil? Yes, we swear by Dave Ramsey. My wife got out of debt using Dave Ramsey as well. Yeah, he's the man.
personal debt is gone now. We are working on the farm-related debt. We have a plan and a goal. Nice. Farm is one of the most financially insecure careers. A plan helps. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely plan it out. And stick to the plan. I didn't know that farming is one of the most financially insecure careers. That's that's new to me. say that because we don't get set the price for our crops Sotmar does and it jumps up and down on a whim our expenses will go up but we can't always sell our crop to cover them oh wow really oh my goodness I did not know that oh my gosh there's that's like so stressful just thinking about that Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, oh my gosh. So much uncertainty. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's uncertainty in everything. It's just, oh my goodness. You just never know. saying is farmers pay retail sell at wholesale and pay the freight both ways oh farmers pay retail sell at wholesale oh my gosh <laughs> i am learning all sorts of farming lingua So I'm assuming you, you work full time with your husband on your on your farm, managing it all. Things you never imagined learning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You actually work in town at the green elevator where the crops are stored after harvest. Ah, okay. Ah, 
Así. Yeah, I love I love learning all sorts of things. So this has been a great great cat crash course in farming. <laughs> Someday I hope to be able to come home and work with Lucas. Uh, that's your husband, Lucas, full time. I do actually, yes. Kind of crazy how technology allows us to do this. Ah, Lucas, he's amazing, nice. How did you guys meet? subtle pinks especially in the ears That's okay. Yeah, I'm really bad at typing myself. It's all good. You met online too. I found him on Okay Cupid Nice. When a friend convinced me to give it a try. Oh, that's so funny. There you go. <laughs> and then 10 years together. That's amazing. That's so funny. Yeah, it was actually my sister who said, you should try match. And I'm like, eh. It took me forever to join, but I'm glad I did. That is too funny. Online dating works. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, right? I mean, it was really, in the end, it was so convenient because you get to filter out people that you don't want, you know, you, you, you get to read up on them before you even reach out, you know, it's like I hated like going out to bars and trying to like figure out who I like just from, I don't know, it was just too complicated for me <laughs> or clubs. Ugh. I'm so happy uh, I went online. It saved so much time, too. And what I liked about matches, they gave you matches. Like, they suggested people for you, which was awesome. They did have to work. <laughs> I don't know if OKCupid did that, but I loved that feature with Match. They would email me. It's like, oh, here's five people to check out. And I'm like, oh, all right, thank you. <laughs> yes, exactly. The, yes, the awkward first meeting, yes. <laughs> so awkward. And then the rejection, ugh. No, thank you. It was less of a rejection online because you're just like, okay, move on. <laughs> but in person, ugh, used to dread it. That is, that's awesome. definitely needs more darks. Oh, actually it also has pinks. Just little subtle hints of pinks. Oh, st my wife, Stephanie, um, I don't know if she's still online, but I could answer. She's a teacher. She's a s sixth grade math teacher uh, full time. And then she also has her side. She's a singing singer and musician on the side. And uh, yeah, she has two careers. <laughs> Oh, there you go. She is online. Hi, baby. Singer, songwriter, producer. That's right. She's finishing up a new song as we speak, as I draw. It's pretty awesome. go yep she's an amazing singer <laughs> you love music you cannot sing. <laughs> yes me too <laughs> Stephanie is an amazing singer and I'm not biased at all <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music do you like, Debbie? I'm not biased. Please. 
some dark values in the eyes just to make that pop out a little bit more. You like bands or singers but not whole genres. Oh, okay. That's fair. I like that. What are some of your favorite bands or singers? To Cold. C O L D, Cold, that's the name. Huh, I don't think I've I've heard of them. I'm so out of the loop though. I have seen Apocalyptica in concert 11 times. Wow. Apocalyp... Ap is that Apocalyptica? Gotta check them out 11 times. Holy cow. That's a lot of times. I don't think I've ever seen anybody 11 times. They must be good. Oh, I will check them out. Let me write this down. Cold. You gotta check out cold. And what is this? Apocalyptica. All right, I gotta check them out. Plays heavy metal on cellos. Oh my, they are from Finland and they are beautiful. Okay. I will check them out for sure. I have never heard of, I love cello. Never heard of a heavy metal version of that. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I'm gonna look them up after my live. Oh wow, I have been drawing, oh, almost two hours, wow. Time flew by. Oh, I can't wait to go see concerts again. I miss going to concerts. Darken up some of these pinks. I partied a lot back in the early 20, 2000s. Metallica Corn, White Zombie Tool, Pink Floyd. Oh, okay. All right. I think I'm getting a sense of your musical tastes. Very cool. You partied a lot. I think we all partied a lot. My misspent youth. <laughs> nice.
Now you're 46 with young kids. How old are you kids? One was six and how old's the other one? You're still young, by the way. 46 is very young. Six and eight, ah, yes. Boy and girl, right? What are their names? Lillian and Jensen. Ooh, I like those names. That's right, babe. 46 is very young, says a 40 year old, 43 year old. <laughs> we're very young since we're gonna live till 100, right? That's the goal, to live till 100. Yeah. in the gums subtle subtle shadows Sarge had to convince he was going to come through the window and eat him, really. I couldn't believe my big marsher would ever act that tough. But a friend followed me home one day, and he was at the window, and she said that it was one big mouth. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful smile. Did Sarge not like the the FedEx guy? Did they did he bark at him? My Bella barks at all the male people.
She like knows the sound of their trucks too. Apparently I wasn't home when he, oh, <laughs> oh that's funny. Yeah, she she goes crazy over the the FedEx, the UPS, all of them. And I don't understand why. Came to my work once and asked if he could bring my picture. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, boxer barks can be very, very menacing sounding, very scary. I get it. <laughs> But they're such sweethearts, they, do, they don't know. I think deliverers act suspicious to a dog. The stranger shows up, doesn't come in like everyone else. <laughs> That's true, yeah, you're right. the mis mystery of it all huh yeah I would be suspicious too it's like how come they don't come in That's true. Yeah, people only knew boxers aren't very good, like actual guard dogs. The wiggle butts, they just turn into wiggle butts. Have I tried yoga with Bella? What? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think she would let me do yoga. She's just always in my face. <laughs> Fergus is no help at all. Like, how would you, like, what do you mean? Like, they... Is that, like, an actual, like, uh exercise to do yoga with your dog I'm curious Oh, I mean, just try to do yoga. <laughs> uh, I think actually Bella's pretty good. She she lets my wife do yoga. I mean, she she's curious about it. 
but I think she's a she's pretty good at, at uh, leaving leaving my wife alone. See so yoga. She's still oh no, that's true. That's true. She does steal your yoga mat. She just lays down on it or plops her uh, white white paws on it. <laughs> he tries to pounce on your head. Well, he is a pop. He is a a, a puppy. That's all they want to do is pounce on your head. Oh, that's funny. They are comfy mats, yes. They know where where it's good. They definitely know where it's comfortable. Definitely beautiful face. I love that his smile is out. I was hoping that I would get to to get to draw his uh, beautiful smile. Oh, this music, it's um it's called Stream Beats. It's like copyright uh music for YouTube, so I don't get blocked. It's a Spotify uh, playlist. It's all like instrumental. This is called Lo-Fi. It's very relaxing. They have other types of uh genres too, but I like this one the most. Yeah, yeah, it's it's made for YouTube, for streamers, um, for like Twitch, because you know all the and and I don't know about Facebook. I feel like Facebook still blocks um, this playlist. So yeah, I love this playlist. It's very uh, friendly for live streams. My other YouTube videos have been blocked before, so this is a safe, safe uh, um, music background, ambiance type of uh, playlist.
yeah, jazz and blues. I love jazz and blues. Radio Company. Okay. Radio Company. I'm going to write this down. Oh, that's right. Thanks, baby. I do have to go to bed early. Was this Jensen Akels from Supernatural Sings? I love his voice. Okay. I will check them out. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate all these music uh, suggestions. All right. I think I've been drawing for over two hours now. I think this is a good stopping point. Debbie, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, before you go, please like my video. It helps the algorithm, um, helps other people discover my YouTube. And uh, yeah, I should um, be live again on Friday. So I'll send you a link, Debbie. Yes, me too. Thanks for chatting. Yes, yes. So, um, yeah, I'll see you again, and, um, yeah, have a good night, and hopefully I'll see you Friday. Thanks, baby. Thanks for reminding me. All right, bye, guys. Thank you. Everybody else who joined, thank you. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye.